Hi, my name is Dr. Derhi Noor Mikopola and I'm a senior lecturer in Digital Humanities at the Australian National University. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about linked data. Linked data is a method for publishing structured information in a machine-readable format so that it can be interpreted by machines. We use defined vocabularies and ontologies to turn structured data into RDF triples, which interconnect to create a knowledge graph, which software agents called reasoners can then navigate to infer additional and new information. Linked data enables us to integrate information from lots of disparate but complementary data sets, as long as that information is published somewhere online. Linked data is an excellent method for people who work with humanities data or in the social sciences because it copes very well with messy and incomplete data. It also enables us to represent information in slightly different ways. This kind of graph structure is quite different from the sort of hierarchical uh, Linnaean taxonomies that we're used to seeing in a lot of information representation. The real strength of linked data, though, is that it helps us bring together complementary information that's currently stored away in very separate and disparate data sets. Linked data is still a relatively new technology, and as such, some of the tools that we have and we use are not quite as robust and don't necessarily play as well with other tools as those that you might be familiar with if you're used to working with relational databases, for example. Also, if your research question is very focused on a single data set, linked data might not be the methodology for you because the process of translating your relational database or spreadsheet into RDF triples might feel like a reduplication of work with no real tangible benefit. Another challenge of linked data uh, is related to an issue of privacy, ethics and trust. So we are combining data sets from different places and so we do need to trust that other people's data is of good quality and doesn't have mistakes in it. But there are also issues of privacy. Let's think about a scenario where you're combining anonymized information from lots of different places but they've all chosen to anonymize different things. When you bring those together, that anonymity is essentially potentially removed because that additional information is coming together to form a more complete and comprehensive picture of an individual than any one data set would alone. So then these issues of privacy and ethics really come into play and you need to build these considerations in from the very start of your linked data project and not just think about them at the end. Still interested? If you want to know more about linked data, scroll on down. There are some example videos of some bits of software in action and also links to resources, publications and examples of cool linked data projects.